we spoke about today, that no nation is cursed and only the land is cursed. So, you know, I'm, I was very touched by what Grace said, that uh, Kenneth Copeland is teaching that the black people are coming from Ham and we are cursed. I know that Kenneth Hagin used to teach it and he, he stopped it and retrieved that teaching. He withdrew it from even all his books because Fred Price protested against it. And he was his foremost disciple. But to hear that other people are still teaching, I'm sure it's not only Kenneth Copeland that is teaching. Okay, maybe, maybe other people are still teaching. And you said now too that even some Africans teach it. Uh -huh. So if that is the case, it means even if Africans would teach that about themselves, that is so, I mean, because they just believe everything that is coming from America. But let me quickly give you, because I said, you people said I must do a teaching on this, and that the man, the people, the man is not cursed. It is the land that God cursed. But let me quickly give you, just, just in case, for your sake, just in case you would need to argue or talk with somebody in the future. Somebody, just open, be ready to open Bibles, uh, passages, and read for us. Okay? You have your microphone there so that you read, you'll be able to read to us. Okay? Now, so, if anybody tells you that harm was caused, I don't know if we should read the story or not. Maybe we should we read the story? In that section, okay. Uh, let's go to Genesis chapter 9. Huh? Genesis chapter 9, yeah. Because I think you should just have, at least, have some understanding of this. And so that forever, we will never be deceived again. Because everything is in the Bible. But other people's interpretation might be faulty. Can we read from verses 18 to 28? That's Genesis chapter 9, verses 18 to 28. Genesis 9, Genesis chapter 9, verse 18 to 28. The sons of Noah who went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So how many children did Noah have? Three. Three. What are their names? Shem, Shem Ham, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, good. Ham was the father of Canaan. Okay, there is a reason why the emphasis, out of all those three children, there is an emphasis that was made on Ham. And then, out of all the children of Ham, there is an emphasis that is made on Canaan. Because there is a big story coming that's going to follow now. See, see that? That is underlined. That is, after saying all the, about all others, they brought that out specifically. And that's because so that God doesn't want us to make mistakes. This God is a smart God. He is underlining those two words. Remember, Ham... Is a son of Noah. Canaan is not a son of Noah. Remember? So let's do it again. The son of Noah is Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And Ham is not even number one, Ham is number two. Now, but Canaan is not a son of Noah. Remember that. But Canaan is a son of the son of Noah. And whose son is Canaan? Ham. So therefore, Noah is the grandfather of Canaan. Okay, but the father of Canaan is Ham. Okay, so let's read it again. 18. 18. The so Genesis chapter 9, verse 18 to 28. 18. The sons of Noah who went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah. 
And from this, the people of the whole earth were dispersed. So all the nations you see now, they come from these three families. Europeans, Asians, and everybody else. So we'll see now where Africans come from and who are Africans, and who are Europeans, so that you see who is caused, and why. Is it the black man that is caused? Let's see. Verse 20. Noah began to be a man of the soil, and he planted what, a... What version are you reading the first place? ESV. What is ESV? Read King James now. What did happen? He, yeah, King James or New King James. Okay. I see that he's reading some strange something. <laughs> Who knows ESB? What is ESB? Okay, New King James. English Standard Version. Okay, New King James. I'll start from the beginning. Genesis chapter 9, verse 18 to 28. Verse 18. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from this, and from these, the whole earth was populated. Verse twenty, and Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard. Twenty-one, then he drank of the wine and was drunk, and became uncovered in his tent. Verse twenty-two, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw See the, the emphasis. Ham, the father of Canaan, even though Canaan is not the only child, it's not the only son of Ham, but the emphasis keep on going to Ham, the father of Canaan. There is a message God is trying to pass to all of us. Yeah, so keep on paying attention. Verse 22, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. 23. But Shem and Japheth took a garment. Now, you see, who saw the nakedness of the father? Ham. You see, it's not Canaan who saw the, not who saw the nakedness, but who? Ham. Ham. Okay. Yeah. Verse 23. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. Yes. Verse 24. So Noah awoke from his wine, and when and, and knew what his younger son had done to him, then he said, Cursed be Canaan. Wait, 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 wait. Who should be cursed? Ah, I set you up! <laughs> I set you up! You see, you didn't get it. You didn't, you don't, you didn't get it. It's not harm that is caused. I said, who is caused? Okay, maybe it's a mistake. I wanted to say, who is caused? Who should be who should be cursed? Who is cursed? No, 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 no. He actually said, who should be cursed? Okay. So I said he read was that the first is Kenna. First is Kenna was what you read. But he actually said, who should be cursed? Ham should be cursed. But who is cursed? Oh. So there is a reason why the Bible kept on saying, kept on saying, the Ham, the father of Canaan. Her Ham, the father of Canaan. Now, who saw the nakedness? Ham. Ham saw the nakedness. I need two people here. Please, sir. You to come. No, no, okay, you come. You wanted to be the one to come, right? Why do you want to be the one to come this time? You want to get the lesson? Hey, by all means. Yes, hey. Okay, you are the father. You are Ham, I'm sorry. But this illustration. So this is Am, and this is Canaan, the son. Please stand here, every two of you stand here. And Noah, okay, let you be the Noah now. You look like one. 
Come here, this is Noah. You know, go, 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 go. Bring, no, bring your clothes, bring your clothes. Yes. Not naked. Not naked, ah. See, 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 see that. So, you two people too. Two people, okay. Yeah, two people. No. You know, there are three sons. Three sons of Noah. You, you, you come aside. You come aside. No, you, you are grandson. You come here. So these are the three sons of Noah. Okay, this is Ham. This is Noah. So he came to report. He saw what happened to the father. Came to report to the brothers. The brothers turned back. Yeah, they, yes. They went to, you see, they are not looking, but they covered their father. So they are saved. Now, but who sinned? Come, two of you come still. Who sinned? Ham sinned. He, he didn't sin, but he was making jest of the father. Okay, so you go and retire first. We'll come back to you later on. So now, after the thing has happened, remember, one thing you must pay attention to is that who cursed? Who cursed? Who pronounced the curse? Was it God? No. Remember that. Because the way they preach is, these preachers, when they begin to preach, they say God caused harm. First of all, read that verse again. What verse is that? Verse, verse, verse. <laughs> verse 23 or 22? Sorry. Um... 24. 24. Okay, yeah. read that verse 24 again. He says, So Noah awoke from his wine. Yes. And then, and when, and knew what his younger son had done to him, yes. then he said, Cursed be who's, Canaan. Canaan, I mean, who said that? Noah. 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 Yeah, yeah. He woke up and he is the one who caused not harm. Who saw the nakedness? Harm. Harm. But who was God? Canaan. The who is the son of Ham. But it's not the one who was cursed. Why? Good question. Why? Come, sir. So this is the one that was cursed. Why? You see why now. Keep on going. Yes. Okay, starting again from 24. Yes. So Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done to him. Then he said, Cursed be Canaan, servant of servants, he shall be to his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. So, so is the curse coming on Ham? No. Have you had the name of Ham in that curse? No. Because people who are using this argument that Ham was caused, they are not even careful in reading. They are not even analytical. They are not even detailed. They don't even pay attention. They just need justification for slavery. They just need justification for slavery. That's all. Let's keep on reading. Yeah. May God enlarge Japheth, and may he dwell in the tents of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. Tell me, did you see Ham again no, there? No, 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 no. Okay, Ham is no more in the same. But now let me give you, let me now tell you what you don't know. There are only three sons that came out of, just like that, out of the, out of the, you know, because there was the ark. And the floor, the whole earth was already destroyed. So there are only three families, only three family groups. So if one, this one has his own children and his own lineage, this one has his own children and his own lineage, this one has his own children and his own lineage. Now, if any one of these is caused directly, one third of humanity will be caused. I don't know if you are getting there. Because he, for example, Ham, had four children. And that one, Canaan, is the fourth, the last born, part of four children. That is why it was the only one that was cut off by the curse. 
There was, apart from him, apart from him, there are still three other children that are his descendants. And it is, let, let me now tell you who are those three children. There were, okay, so there is one that is cursed. You are a different, you are different family groups. So apart from this, there are two, there are three more, three more in between. But because the child is the last one and he needed to punish, is one of the, if he had punished him, all the one, two, three, four, and it will be on top of the whole earth man. You see? God is a merciful God. God will not allow that to happen. The same principle that was used by God himself with Adam, when Adam was the one who was deserved, who deserved to have been cursed, who was supposed to have been cursed, who was supposed to be punished, God diverted that curse from him to the land for the sake of humanity. Because in that case of Adam, all humanity would have been cursed. So that humanity would not be cursed, he directed to the end. The same principle is working here. Nowhere in the Bible was harm ever caused. Harm was not caused. His first son was not caused. His second cause was... His descendants were not caused at all. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Only his last son took, as a sacrificial lamb, took that one. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Now, now let me continue. If you keep on reading in the ge genealogy, genealogy of Noah, you will discover that there are four sons that Ham had. What are their names? The Israel. How do you know? You remember? Okay. One of the sons, the first son of no of Ham, this Ham that we are talking about, he has four sons. What are their names? Not there. Was push is not number one son. The first son of Ham is Mizraim. He got his right. Mizraim. Mizraim. Now, then the second son is Kush. Now, who is Kush? Uh, okay, let's say that. Come, Ethiopia. There are four sons. You two come. Three. We say sons, but we put women this time to, as an example. Those are your children. You stand in front. You are just second born. You are from Ethiopia. And that is the, the black person. So you are second born, second born, fourth born, yes. Where is the third born? Okay, you are going to be the third born. So all these races would have been cursed. So the first born of Ham is Mizram. Now, who is Mizram today? Egyptians. Egypt. You know, your pastor knows. So all the this, all the Arabs, Egypt, Egypt people, Egyptian, Egypt itself, Egyptians, yeah, Egypt, Europe, and this. So they come out of Israel, and then the the, the, the Ethiopia, you no, know, Kush is known as Ethiopia or Black. It, Kush is the descendant of all is the as yeah the grand the ascendant all the. Forefather is the forefather of all the black race. All the black race come from Kush, Ethiopia. Kush or Ethiopia gave back to all the. But he was not cursed. Misra was not cursed. Kush was not cursed. The third child is called Put. Put, that is Libya, Tunisia, Mauritania, all those other people, you know, those Arab countries that we call the Arab countries now. So they come from Put. And they were not cursed too. But then there was Canaan. Not be you. You will not be, you will not be, you will not be cursed in Jesus' name. So this is Canaan. Now, who are the descendants of Canaan? Canaan had many children. I mean, he had descendants. His descendants from him alone came the Havites. You read about them in the Bible. The Hivites, the Jebusites, the Arvadites, the Gilgashites. The Amorites, the Arkatites, the Sinitites, the Hittites. All those Hittites, they are forming for me, and there is none of them alive today. 
They have been consumed by the cause. is tall on them. Yeah. That's why you wonder all, the, all those ancient nations, you'll be wondering, ah, where are they today? Because the cause has taken its, it has done its deal, deal cause. It has taken its cause, it's tall, they are not here. So, for somebody to not be saying, Ham is the one who was called. That means the one called of humanity would have been, oh yeah. And the one that was even with God has been eradicated. They don't just exist again. So to be talking about that is just heartless. <laughs> 